Right now on News for Jax at 11, controversial plans to develop a piece of property near the Pumpkin Hill Preserve. Those plans will move forward. Jacksonville City Council voting late tonight to go ahead with plans to build close to 100 new homes. That's despite getting a lot of pushback from homeowners in the area. Many are concerned the construction near the preserve on the north side could cause more flooding in the area and make homes more vulnerable to fires and flooding. News for Jack's reporter Renee Beninati was inside tonight's City Council meeting. She joins us live. Renee, what did you learn about this back and forth? Janice, it was uh, very contentious between the contractors and the homeowners who showed out. Uh, there were a ton of them at tonight's meeting, then disappointed by the council's vote. They made it clear through this meeting that they did not want to see this piece of land turned into a subdivision. Uh Several dozen homeowners addressing the Jacksonville City Council Tuesday night. It's almost like you're giving the middle finger to the taxpayers of this county because you don't care. They don't want to see close to 100 new homes built on this piece of land. This is video of the area from Drone 4. Three sides of it are on the Pumpkin Hill Preserve. I feel pretty passionate about keeping the area the way it is. Um, I think it's a very unique area of Jacksonville. There's just nowhere like it in Jacksonville to go to and get away. The piece of land has been at the center of a bitter battle between developers and homeowners. Many people who live nearby have brought up a variety of concerns like fire risks to increase flooding. Danielle D'Amato is one of them and also a biologist who specializes in wetlands. This area happens to be Jacksonville's prime resiliency area which means any type of flooding or hurricanes, anything like that, the water from those storms is going to go into our area first. The landowner is represented by land rights attorney Paul Hardin, who says he worked on finding a compromise. We're going to bring water and sewer to the site. We will have fire hydrants on our site. If there's a fire emergency, we have fire suppression there. In the end, the council voted 10 to 9 in favor of rezoning the property so it could be developed in the future.